In this video, I will discuss that how we can run our project online on a, on a Snack and how we can create our project, a little bit overview of Snack uh, web app, how we can actually uh, view our project online on uh, different emulators such as iOS and Android. If you don't have physical device, we can create an Expo CLI project with the help of Snack. We can also uh, view the output on uh, any device uh, having uh, Expo client and we can log in into our snack account and you can navigate and look into all the snacks that you have created you can launch any snack that you have and uh, you can actually test the snack you can see that how it uh, looks like and what would the output you can share the snacks easily by sharing the URL and you can work around with this so let's see how we can do that you can navigate to snack.expo.io as soon as this web, web app is launched it will uh, open a sample simple project of Expo CLI and uh, it names this project you can later on save that project in your account you need to log in and you can save all the snacks will be available over there so this is a basic uh, environment in which you have a file manager on the left side and here you have an editor and on the right side you have uh, the preview so this preview is currently on web but definitely all the components which are react component translated into native components cannot be viewed and experienced in the web uh, you can also have an Android and iOS in which you can actually tap to play and uh, also for iOS if you want to see the experience that how my app will look like in, uh, in iOS and uh, here are some uh, options over here let's say for example if I want to hide these files file menu I can do that and uh, I can choose the theme uh, I'm currently using dark theme so you can switch this theme from here and also if you want to enable Vim mode or not and you can also choose the expo version it's 37 right now and uh, if you want to manage the files you want to create a new file if you want to create a folder like this one in this we have a components folder over here already by default it has been created and inside this component you have another file which is uh, asset example file and you can navigate and back go back and switch to the app.js file so let's see that how we can preview this and how we can uh, do more things with the snack let's see the output on iOS so I need to tap to play so they will put me in a queue and depending upon the number of users using this app I will be in the queue and I need to wait over here and then uh, wait for my turn to run my application on the iOS similarly if I go in Android and I tap to play and I'm in the queue over here as well so if I switch between these tabs uh, it will reset me and put me another put, put me again in a queue so let's wait over here another way is that I can run this uh, project on my phone to do that I need to have Expo client installed on my phone either it's iPhone or Android phone I need to scan this uh, QR code and uh, uh, after that I can do that and uh, I can get the direct link of uh, Expo client from here and uh, I can do that alright I'm first in the queue but uh, remember that you don't need to switch tabs or you don't need to launch this um, output in external tab because it will reset and will put me back in the queue from the beginning so it also depends the, the traffic the amount of traffic on uh, snack so the queue would be longer according to the traffic so 
let's wait a while and see that so finally application is launching and uh, it's launching export the device is connected and now this is the output so I will just remove this one and I can write some text and you see that as soon as I type it refreshes and gives me the output so I don't need to press control s to save this this is the text the closing tag was missing and this is my output I can actually copy my local code and I can paste in here like this and you see the output so these are the buttons and this is the alert message and that's all we already coded and this is the output on uh, iOS and uh, I can save this snack give it any name first rn project save the snack is saved I can view the snacks and uh, I can also share the snack these are the list of snacks some of the snacks are already saved I can delete that snack <coughs> and uh, let's see where is our snack which is just created here it is first RN project so this is the snack that uh, I have it here and if I click it uh, will launch the snack again I can uh, export the snack as well and uh, these are the few things that I can do that I can also share the project uh, snack project with uh, anyone I just need to provide this URL so I just let's for example just for the demonstration purposes I will launch an incognito and you see that this project is accessible even I am not logged in so this is the project that is uh, available and uh, I can view that project I can uh, change that project and uh, I can test that project and I can also save that project if I am logged in into my snack so so I can actually do that and I can share that project as well and this is my project running over here developed and built with the snack let's see how we can run this project on our device one of the way is that I scan the QR code another way is that I launch Expo client app and I log in into my account so I sign in into my account over here so when I sign in you see that all the snacks are available see all snacks and you see all the snacks which I have created are available over here so I can navigate to my snacks so this is my first RN project snack so that's a snack that's a snack available over here on my app through my account another thing is that if you are inactive in your uh, uh, emulator which is web based emulator uh, you will be time out so which means that you need to interact with your uh, running emulator and you need to do that so if I am inactive it will show a timer and then it will stop so that's how you can actually run on your device and also online 
so this was a very brief overview of snack expo which is a expo cli based project and supports all expo cli based projects you can also run snack on uh, on the browser and uh, see the output if you don't have physical device you can create and save the snacks you can share the snacks you can also run and navigate into your account and you can open the snacks like we have this one over here and you have a list of recently uh, uh, open snacks over here and you can actually go into your account anytime and you can actually view the snacks you can share the snacks you can show these snacks to someone and you can get a uh, quick feedback on the application that you are developing so it's a uh, quite nice and uh, easy way of uh, working on your react native projects sharing the projects and saving your snacks online it will be also helpful if you are working on some uh, uh, projects in a course and you want to show your snacks and your react native projects uh, which is expo, expo CLI based projects to your instructor and maybe you want to get some help from uh, from your uh, peer and then you want to actually work together and this is a very nice and cool thing that is provided by expo CLI